Hey guys, how's it going? My name is RTG Runner, and welcome back to my let's play of Amnesia Digressiophobia, a custom story. Anyway, I am completely stumped as to where to go from here because, um. Yeah. I'm st stuck here. Essentially, because I do not know what to do, where I must go. I can only assume that there is some object <coughs> laying about that interacts with another object in some manner. Like this box interacting with the knight here, knocking his block off. I said knocking his block off. Oh, I don't remember the helmets come right off these guys. Hmm. Hmm. Right, okay, fine. Game one, Robbie zero. But <laughs> you know, uh, in the last part, I came across two, well, two wooden planks. They said C E, and there was another one hidden in a wardrobe, and it had the letter A on it. Not sure what that relates to. Yes. But I will find out eventually. I don't think running around here is going to solve anything. But seriously, some object has to interact with another because of. Oh, what was this? Yeah. In the last part of chapter 1 of Degressive Phobia, the tools which are normally strewn about in multiple custom stories and especially in the main game of of amnesia are there just for aesthetic purposes they have no <coughs> other use but I was proved wrong in this get okay, in check this out oh I have seen to miss the note piano for beginners page one when you look at the piano you might notice a simple pattern two black keys three black keys two black keys three black keys and so on take a look at the second black Key. All right. Take a look at the two black keys to the left side. Wait. To the left side of the first black key is the white key that we all call C. From C, we can count all the white keys: C, D, E, F, G, A, H. The black keys are a little special because they get their name from the key mode we are playing in. No matter what, it will always be one of the seven letters followed by a symbol. For now, we will give them this symbol. Hashtag. No, I'm just getting it sh sharp in musical terms. Counting with the black keys too, it would be C, C sharp D, D sharp E, F, F sharp G, G sharp A, A sharp H chords. A chord is three keys being played in which three tones fit together. For starters, a chord can either be minor or major. A minor chord can sound wait, a minor chord sounds dark or sad. A major chord sounds happy. To find a chord you will have to start from the key which chord you want. Let's say you want to find the C minor chord. You must start from C and then you count to the right both black and white keys, first four keys, E, then three keys, G, so C, C major? Is that my. So yeah, C major is C E G. Try playing it now to find C minor. You must first. You must uh, wait. Now to find C minor, you just count the first three keys: D sharp, then four keys: G, C. Wait, G C minor, D sharp, G minor. Oh Jesus, it's gonna take ages. So to find a particular fucking pattern, don't I? Oh, this game just loves to fuck with my mind. Whoa! Okay, I can't help it if my piano skills aren't up to your standard game. No need to flip out. Hmm. Oh, excuse me. Okay, so... What now? What? 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 Whoops! Whoopsies! You didn't see that. Um. Uh. But. 
Oh yeah. No. Uh, piano for beginners. So try playing it. C E G. Right, I'll give it a shot. But I, I doubt it's gonna help me. Oh, I must guess them. S H C D E F G. So, so I must play C E What was that? What the fuck was that? It was like the sound of something opening or locking. Hmm. Okay, okay. okay. <coughs> it wasn't this unlocking. Anything here? Okay, I'm surprised I haven't encountered the monster yet. Okay, where, 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 where? Okay, nothing there. Okay, fine. Maybe this door's finally unlocked. No, okay, fine. No, no such luck. Oh. I don't recall this being here before. It's hmm. too dark in there. I'm not going in there without light. <coughs> no, you can go do one, you coward. You're going in here. Then again, maybe you're not going in here. But luckily, I have tinder boxes. Oh, really? Really? You won't progress a few fucking inches without a light? What's behind here? Probably nightmares. Okay, I, I can't, I can't do it. I can't. Oh, there we go. Come on. Use your superhuman strength. I know you have it in you. Oh, come on, seriously, what? Okay, what is wrong with you? You both. Oh, there you go. Kind of a tight squeeze. Luckily, I'm not fat. Okay, let's check yonder way. I probably shouldn't check here, but I'm going to do the stupid thing and check anyway. No, oh, never mind, it's locked. Guess we're safe for another day. Okay, you just watch now, that thing's going to bust through the door. No? Okay then. Alright. You know, I am perfectly okay with that. Ooh! Hey, gorgeous. Nice buns. Ooh, seems like a pretty huge area to explore here, and actually, it kind of looks like the main entrance of the main foyer, as the French would say. Yeah, it reminds me of the main entrance of Castle Redenburg. Yeah, right, I'll. Ooh, Justine's bedroom. Oh, ho, ho, ho. oh yes, let's see what shenanigans are going on here. Justine, my love, it is I. Mark, I think. It is I, Mark, your lover. Hello? Okay. Yeah, 
Yeah, that sounded weird for some reason. Don't know why, but... The audio seems a bit off. Hopefully it's just me going nuts. Wait, so there's nothing in here? I can't o what the hell? I can't open these. They don't seem locked. Yeah, but maybe they are. This range. Sorry, I thought I heard the ward creak open a bit. Okay, this room was pointless. Didn't hold any secrets. Not that I know of. Maybe, just maybe. Should we be back here? No? Okay, fine. Good. One room down, probably another 50 million to go. Okay, right, what else do we have here? Could we get another misplaced wardrobe? Nothing, so I guess we'll be using that for hiding at some point. Bookcase, and another bookcase. Another misplaced desk. The, 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 the desk. Okay, nothing. Woo! Freedom! I'm not going to continue without Simone. Okay, fine. That puts an end to one mystery. We are playing as Mark. Okay, so we've got a door out there, and we've got. Another stairway leading down here, and there's another door down there. Okay, fine. And. Right, another door that does not require a loading screen. Oh boy. Oh, something scary is going to pop out now. Let's be careful. Hello? All right, we're good. I hope. And we found ourselves no in the box. Okay, so nothing here. Then again, I could be fooling myself because all these objects have some use of some kind. Well, they. Probably, they'll probably have some use of some kind, maybe, yeah, uh, I don't know. And this shelf looks rather suspicious, or this cabinet, whatever you want to call it. Looks like something that I'd be, be able to move. But first, just gonna check behind it, just to see if there's some shenanigans, but there's no shenanigans going on. Okay, fine, good. Simon, are you down there? Are you down there? Yes, I am. Are you okay, Mark? I think you're being sarcastic. Yes, I guess. Are you? I don't know. It's really dark down here. And there is this human down here. I don't oh, know you're being serious. Safe to be here any longer. After all the shit you've seen, it's only now you're thinking thinking it's not safe? Oh, well, got a note. Okay, mementos. Simon needs help getting out. Okay, throw him down a moldy piece of bread. You know, maybe he'll get superhuman strength to be able to jump through the hole. Or break... Or uh, break through the walls, who knows. And... Apparently this piece of bread is too fat to fit down there. Either that or there's an invisible barrier. I think it's safe to assume that there's an invisible barrier. Okay, fine. The mood suddenly just changed. 
rather ominous. And it stopped. And it's back in. Okay, fine. Got these softs playing down here. So I'm guessing I'm going to have to go into the laboratory. Or laboratorium, as they call it in the old English. Okay, hopefully this is as small as I think it is. That's what she said. And then I won't get chased down here. Why would I do that? I uh, don't know. Why would you do that? Well, you'll probably need to do that at some point. Whatever that is. And that is turning a knob. Why would I do that? I don't to do science. To do so, f fucking science or chemistry. I don't know. Okay. Oh, okay, I see. Explosive recipe. Materials. Aquafortis. Oil of vitriol. Recipe. Put the aquafortis in a container. Next, mix it with oil of vitriol. Then heat it up. While it's heating, pour in some cuprite. Be careful. The liquid will be very explosive and unstable. A physical shock would be enough to make it explode. Why would I do that? To make explosives, you fucking terrorist. Alright, there's no secrets behind here? No. Nobody, nobody. New. Okay, just run space to make you think. Why would I do that? I told you, you're a terrorist in the making. You're going to have to make an explosive and blow up the library. But for now, that doesn't seem too important. All right, let's go back upstairs. Apparently, there's stuff I need to make. I don't need yet. Probably to. I probably need to use it on the hole in the ground to make it wider for Mark. <gasps> uh oh. I don't know what the fuck that was. Probably came from down here. Or upstairs. But for now, I'm going to continue on my merry way and go here. Wherever here is. A wine cellar. Oh dear. Smashing of glass. Wine cellars. Oh boy. That monster's gonna be down here, isn't he? Okay, hello, barrels, my old friend. Oh boy, things are getting very spookalicious. Uh -huh, this is probably where I'll have to use the explosives. Okay, so what did I write down? Notes. Mementos. Some needs help to get out. Some large rocks are blocking the wine. But some large rocks are blocking in the wine cellar. Okay. Yes, yeah, so I'm going to have to make the nuclear weapon of mass destruction to blow that shit away it won't budge and more than likely this door won't budge either you watch okay thanks for proving me wrong yet again game hello What the fuck? Ok, 
Okay, I, I heard a monster sniffing about. Probably behind these rocks. And hopefully it is there he will stay and not bother me today. Then again he could be up, up here. Which would not be surprising in the least. Ooh. Picked up flask, I'll be needing that. So anything else here? Uh in the box, always useful. Any behind the store? Hello? Oh, alright, I didn't notice this way before. I just looped around. Okay, fine, I got a flask. Good. I mean, perhaps this is where all the crashing was coming from. It must have fallen through the window. It must have fallen through the window. Yeah, explode. Care to explain what it is? Okay, whatever about finding out what it, it is, we better not follow it. But hold on. Okay, we got. Shh. Uh oh, that didn't sit well. Okay, I'm sorry. Holy shit. <laughs> Screw you, I'm, I'm afraid of no angel. Right. Okay, fine. I guess I've done all I needed to do up here now to make the explosive. So I'll have to use this here. Don't tell me which way I can use it. I can do what I want. Okay, we got our aqua fortis. Next, we have to mix it with this. Okay, mix the liquids. I, I should light it up first. Yeah, no shit. Then put this up here and boom. What? Uh, general safety procedures would dictate that you turn it off, but apparently you're going to leave the mountain burner on and be a badass. Or a pyromaniac. One or the other. Or an arsonist. Ah, uh, yes, I guess Simone is gonna be down here. So I'll just do the whole explode, explode thing. And run like hell. Oh wait, I'm supposed to throw something at it, am I? This barrel should do the trick. Or maybe not. <gasps> Alright, we did a thing. Great. Oh, we also managed to clear this way. Oh shit, that sounds like trouble. Okay, I'm gonna need my stone hammer to defend myself with. Okay, I 
thought this way would have led to Simon. No, unless I have to use the stone hammer to break down the store. No, I cannot use the item this way. Oh, anyway, I think I will conclude this part here because I think I've been recording for over nearly 40 minutes. So I'll probably have to cut some of it out just to cut to shorten the upload time. Oh, but so far things are getting pretty interesting, to say the least. I mean, still don't know the least squat about Justine person, whether than she's a complete psychopath who loves to perform her crazy scientific experiments on human subjects. Yeah, I think that's all the background information we need on her. But I digress. Anyway, guys, you know what to do. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, favorite, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you in the next one. So, on to the next time. See ya.